my channel, I built this not so berry townhouse neighborhood where each townhouse represents a different not so berry generation. Not so berry town. The Not So Berry Challenge is a legacy challenge created by Lil Simzy, and it follows 10 generations of different Sims with different storylines, which I described in detail in my build series where we built this thing. Most of the time when people do the Not So Berry Challenge, they do it over the course of months or even years. It's like 10 generations of playing the Sims takes a very long time. I am not about that on this channel. There's no freaking way I'm gonna be caught doing a year long Let's Play series. It's just not happening. I can't even commit to a hair color for more than a couple weeks without wanting to pull it out. So we're gonna do this my way, which is gonna be short, sweet, chaotic, potentially disastrous. I wanna see what's gonna happen if we have all not so berry generations living together in one household. And we're gonna try and complete all of their goals for each generation, but all at the same time. Which of course I had to achieve using cheats. We had to use MC Command Center because even the game says this is a bad idea. You might be saying, oh, wait, that's a lot of information all at once. How the heck are you gonna pull this off? How is this let's play gonna run. Let me explain. Each episode is going to be focusing on one generation at a time, but meanwhile, all the other Sims are going to be interacting together with the free autonomy on, which means they kind of have free reign to do whatever they want. They're going to be making their own interactions, making their own friendships, enemies, gaining skills whenever. But each episode is going to focus on only one Sim from that generation. If you're awesome, you probably already watched the Not Some Very Build Town series where I explained in detail all of the Sims and their traits and everything about them. We're gonna introduce our sims before we get too far into this. By the way, I should mention before we go any further, they're not gonna be related in my version of the Not So Berry Challenge. They do all look similar because I wasn't really sure which way we were gonna go with it, but they're not related in any way. So here is introducing the mint generation, generation one. She is a mischievous scientist that really loves the color mint. She's career driven, but she still makes time for silly pranks and outings with her friends. She loves luxury and wants the best for her family and her friends. Next, we have Lana, our Rose, generation. She was that girl that grew up, had everything, but always was longing for more. As an adult, she has a hard time committing to relationships because she's also so focused on her career. She's got no parental instincts, but still loves her friends and family with all her heart. Generation three. Yes. <laughs> Chaos rules. Charlotte seems to thrive on the shock and rage of others. Is it time to admit that she likes mischief? Sure. Yeah, as may as well since you're interrupting my introduction. Charlotte. That's the peach gen, by the way. We'll get to her. Anyway, <laughs> he closed the door behind him. Come back out. All right, this is our yellow generation. Generation three. His name is Carson. Growing up, he never had a close relationship with his friends or family, and he spent a lot of time alone in his room trying to get to space. He loves space. He really wants to go to Sixum, which is like the space world in The Sims 4, and he's gonna do whatever it takes to get there, no matter what. Next up, we have the gray generation. This is Malcolm, and he always knew that he was different from the other not so berry generations. We're gonna call them roommates, the other roommates. While the rest of your friends were busy in the lab, he just wanted to be outside playing basketball. He's really good at sports and dreams of becoming a pro athlete in his life. And to make up for the lack of relationship that he had with his family, this Sim wants to have the best relationship with his friends and children in the future. Next up, we have Brooklyn, our generation five, the plum generation. She is probably one of my favorites. She is one of those people that is just good at everything she tries. She was a doctor for most of her life, but then as an adult, she realized that she wanted to be a dancer. So before coming to this messed up not so berry town, she quit her job as a doctor and now she's pursuing her dreams to become a professional dancer, an entertainer. Basically, she's an indecisive oddball. We have generation six, which is the orange generation. This is Ariana. She was the black sheep of her family, but with orange hair, and she was raised in a really hectic household. She's always wanted to be mischievous, evil, but she's really bad at it, and no one really takes her seriously. Her idea growing up of being evil was breaking into her neighbor's houses and eating their food. Oh, there's a fire! Oh no, oh no, oh no, none of you better die, I swear. Who's on fire? Wait, <laughs> this household is so big, it might take me a sec to find it. Okay, we have Lana, our Rose Jen, cooking over here. She seems to be okay. Okay, I'm scared to press play. Guess we'll just continue and hope for the best. It was the barbecue. Oh no. Okay, run. Extinguish. Oh girl. Oh yes. Orange. This is interesting to see which ones like came over here and which ones were like, hell no. Nah. Like pink Jen back there is like, nah, I'm not coming. Well, that was eventful. Watch them all come running out of the townhouses. Oh, this is great. Look at 
<laughs> okay, the fire has been put out. Just be a little more careful next time, okay? Yeah, I haven't even made it past the intro. All right, you guys can't go dying yet. Look at our blue gen crying in the back. Oh. Next up, we have the pink generation, also one of my faves. This is Nathaniel. Nathaniel grew up poor, living paycheck to paycheck, and his family grew up in the business career, so he thought he had to do the same kind of thing. What he really wants to do with his life is write romance novels. He really enjoys writing books and reading. But the problem with our pink generation is he's too afraid to quit his job. He's very practical. He's scared of losing everything. And he thinks that his chances of making it as a writer are slim. So he stays working his nine to five. Despite the fact that he really wants to follow his dreams, he's a hopeless romantic, but he's very unflirty and makes it really difficult to find a partner. Oh my God, there's another fire. What is going on? During the build, I had to do some like lot traits on here, which might have like caused fires to start more often. Or the fact that there's freaking 10 sims here, but where's the fire this time? I mean, it looks like he's running away with the fruit. So let's see what happens. These barbecues are dangerous. As long as he made it out alive, you know? God, if we could just stop, please let me get through the intro. Okay. <laughs> Next up, we have Charlotte, another one of my faves, our peach generation. Her parents taught her to always follow her dreams. She always wanted to be a detective. She wanted to be a comedian. And then she decided, why do I not just do both? She's a detective by day, comedian by night. Basically, she can do anything she sets her mind to. Next up, we've got our green generation. This is Clyde. This guy got caught hacking a tech firm when he was a kid and he was so good, they offered him a job. He's smart, he's dedicated. Oh my God, another fire. Who is it this time? You're getting evicted. We're gonna, we're not gonna get so lucky every time. Like what the? Here they come running in between the townhouses though. Oh my God, it was the DJ thing that caught fire literally as I was doing this. <laughs> anyway, even though he's dedicated to his job, that doesn't stop him from having a good time. He loves to go out, he loves to party. He's the kind of person that's gonna be out until 3 a.m. and work at 6 a.m. And finally, our blue generation, this is Blair. She looks a little different than the one from our build series because I had to delete her. Sorry about it. She's the kind of girl that wants everything in life. She wants that white picket fence, beautiful children, but she also still wants more. No matter what she gets, she always wants more. She's the kind of person that strives to be perfect, but will never truly be happy. So those are our Sims in the next episode. We are gonna start off with our mint generation. I knew that I had to get the concept of the let's play out of the way in one video. So I apologize that we haven't dived into really much gameplay other than the intro. But if you hadn't watched the build series, I wanted to make sure that we were all on the same page before continuing on. I'm hoping these next episodes are gonna come out pretty quick. If you guys like the video, if you're excited for this series, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do the whole thing. I'm also open to suggestions for how you wanna see this let's play play out. So let me know any of those that you got in the comments down below. And that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.